Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about the four top lie single women tell themselves when it comes to dating. Before I start this video, I'm not talking about all women. I did a post on my Facebook page, and you know what was funny? All of the good looking women that were in a relationship laughed and agreed with this. All of the fat women who had single or had no relationship status got completely pissed about this. It's very telling on what triggers somebody is there to teach them. Now, the very first lie women tell themselves is, I'm single by choice, period. You're not. You're single for either one of two reasons. All the guys that want you, who are in your Instagram, who are in your DMs, who are hearting, who are liking, who are doing all of these things trying to get your attention, <clears throat> you don't want. There is at least one guy, it could have been from your past, could be in your current situation, or it will be in your future, that you want, but he's not going to want you. There's only two reasons why women say I'm single by choice, and it's either they have a shit ton of options from lower tier men, or from what they perceive as lower tier, or they have their eye on a certain person or persons, but those people are not giving her the time of day. Those people are not giving her the attention she feels that she deserves. And so I bring it back to the first question I ask these women after they say, I'm single because I go through a divorce and I just wanna focus on this and that and that. It's all nice to say, but if that guy came into her life that she has a crush on or maybe has even dated in the past, it could have been an alpha ghost, you don't know, and he came back and wanted her, she would not be single. She would take that deal. So it's not a dig on women. Either you have a ton of crappy options that you don't want, or you have your eye or your heart set on a guy. Maybe it's timing. Maybe this guy's married. Maybe this guy's in a relationship. Maybe this guy is just too high value for you and he doesn't notice you. Oh my God, how could that possibly be? Well, it happens. The second lie they tell themselves kind of pairs into this, is they feel like they deserve the absolute best man out there. If this guy is a 10 and she's a strong six, she deserves this 10. And they get this information, this bad information from influencers out there who throw sunshine up their ass. Steve Harvey's a big one. He creates books. He has a TV show filled with women. He's a marketing genius for women to get them to buy into the fact that they're the prize Yet all along, he's laughing his way to the bank because women are the ones who are buying his books, who are going to his seminars, trying to get a man, yet they still come out empty handed. I'm not here doing this. You guys might think I'm an asshole, but I'm here to tell you, nobody deserves shit. Guys, we, we are born this way. We know we are fucking valueless. We don't deserve anything. Everything that we create in our lives, good and bad, it's up to us. And sadly, some men have made lots of mistakes in their life and they are now virtually invisible to women. This is about 80% of the men out there. The Pareto principle is very clear on this. 80% of the men are completely invisible to 100% women. They're, they're pining for the top 20% of men. And really, they're trying to get the top 10% of men. And then here is what creates the problem. If it's only 10% of the men they want, that means 100% of the women are going after the top 10% of guys. The math doesn't math. 
women have to come down to their level and realize, I'm not going to get this guy Steve Harvey says I deserve. I'm not going to get this amazing love affair that all these other influencers say you hold off, you wait for. Because the fact is, people have lives. Everybody has traumas. Everybody cannot live this fairy tale life. And honestly, guys, nobody lives that. A lot of women these days, I'm talking about the more modern women, the younger women, well, they want to be wifed up, but they were never taught how to be wise. Most of them can't cook. Most of them can't clean. Most of them don't even have a real personality. A lot of them have been ran through. They're used up. But they expect this high quality guy to come in and absolve her of all of her sins and come and say, that's okay, princess, I'm gonna level you up. And it doesn't work that way. Society thinks it should work that way and these influencers like Steve Harvey tell you it should work this way, but the reality is it doesn't. So don't go out and think that you deserve something that you're not willing to put the time and effort in. Now, I celebrate all women who are boss bitches. I really do. But you also have to understand that comes with its own problems. If you're a boss babe and you're working and you're acting in your alpha and you're acting in your masculine, which you would have to be because it's a fucking man's world out there. You have to operate in a man's world. And so when you're doing that and you're grinding away, just remember... You're not, in t men are intimidated by you. We're turned off by you because you're acting like a man. High quality women, women who make a lot of money have a very hard time locking in another high quality guy because another high quality guy, a guy who's making just as much money as her, probably more, isn't going to want to deal with her. These are just, this is just the reality of what it is. I make a tremendous amount of money. And my girlfriend is very soft, very yielding. She knows how to cook. She knows how to clean. She has her own business, but she also knows that when it comes to business, when it comes to worldly things, I've been, I'm well-traveled. I've done a shit ton of stuff in my life. She will defer to me. She's like, all right, this motherfucker's been there. He's done that. I better ask him and not pretend I fucking know. A lot of these women these days, you take on this ideology that you're so much better than you really are. And so you turn off guys, you turn off the very men that you want. And this is why you might like them, but they're not interested in you because you don't present the package that they're looking for. You're trying to sell this high quality guy on what you're offering, but you're not selling him on what he's, he wants. You're selling him on a carbon copy of what he is. He doesn't want that. We want the opposite. We want our women soft yielding. We're not saying we want you like, yes, sir, no, sir, but you need to be submissive. You need to understand that if we are more than you, which you guys say in your hypergamous nature, you're looking for a man more than, make more money. Maybe he's taller. Maybe he has a social network better. He is more traveled. He is more educated. You want a man more than, which means you want a man you look up to, which means by default, guys, he's settling for you. Men, you need to understand this. You're the fucking prize. I don't care what all these other influencers say. If you level yourself up to the type of man that you know you need to be first for you, Get your money right, get your health right, get your body right, learn travel, learn social skills, be the best version of yourself. And then when a woman enters your frame, you never enter hers. When a woman enters your frame, she comes in understanding, okay, I'm looking up to him. He is more than me. This is what I want. This keeps her in her feminine, her femininity. It doesn't work the other way around. I know society tries to tell you that and that you guys can be two bosses building together. I'm telling you, ladies, if you're watching this, a high quality man does not need you. He's already built himself up. He doesn't need you and you chirping in his ear 
telling him what he's doing wrong. He's done pretty good so far. He doesn't need you for that. That's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Consider subscribing to our school platform. The link is down below. It's $99 a month. I probably have 50 hours of video content in there, tons of blog articles, and this is the only way you guys can actually interact with me via text or messenger through the app. So consider subscribing to that if you're looking to truly level yourself up for, for only $99 a month. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me if you have a specific area of your life you're feeling stuck on. It could be dating and relationships. You can also hit the link down below and book that call with me as well. With that, have an amazing day and we'll talk soon. Thanks.